Okay, g'day and welcome back to the Weedy Garden. I'm going to open up my flow hive today because I want to take the super off and I want to check the, the queen underneath here in the brood box. So um, I've never done this before and I want to show you guys how easy it is to look after bees and um, to be a beekeeper. But it's um, one thing is the flow hive is, is really easy to harvest, but um, you also have to look after your bees, okay? So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to check my bees. So I'm going to take the, the roof off and then I'm going to start taking the frames out of the super. But first we just let them know that we're here. Just give them a little bit of smoke. Okay. Let them know we're here. And then uh, away we go. Start by taking the top off. I'm going to take this top off here. Put a little pry. Okay. Good. It's just scraping off the populus here. The populus is that sticky stuff they're making. Just want to clean that up. Okay. Nice and clean. Just give the bees a little bit of smoke. Tell them I'm coming in here. I've got to just pry these apart a little bit because they're a little bit stuck together. Lift it up. Good. And the other side. There we go. Pull this one out. Like that. Nice and slowly. Get it unstuck. All right. Okay. This is nice and heavy. Looks like it's pretty full of honey. You see how it's all capped on this side? Pretty much closed up and uh, this side as well. Pretty much all closed up and all capped. So that's ready to harvest. So I'll just put this here. I'll just let that hang on the side here. Like that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna, just gonna move all these. I gotta check all of these because I, I want to harvest. So just slowly pulling these apart and then lift it up. It's very difficult to pull up because it's all stuck together with propolis. All right, so we look at this one. This one is not capped. So we'll put it back. Let me take the next one. Sort of pry it apart. Look at B. And then I'll lift it up and check it. Oh, it's very heavy. Oh, this one's full of honey too. Yeah, this one's totally capped. You can see. See, it's all full up. So I'll put that down, back again, nice and slowly. And then the next one, just move the bees away from, my, from where I'm working. This one's full as well. Very nice and full. And the next one. So this one is um, not capped. It's got a lot of honey in it, but it's not capped. And then the last one. This one as well has got a bit of honey, but it's not capped. But they're all looking pretty good in here. Okay, so I'll put this all back and I'll make sure I move them up to the end so they're nice and, nice and tight again. So number one, two, three, and number four. Okay, and then I'll put the last one in. I'm just gonna try and move a bit of the bees away because I don't want to squash any of them when I put this back. That's better, okay. This should slide in now. There we go. So we want to make sure that these are all 
pushed up at the back like so okie dokie look out guys go down so I can put my top back on like that okay that's nice without squashing any that's good okay done now the next step is uh, is to harvest the honey so I'll get my bottles we take off this little table so we wanted number three which is this one take out a little stopper and then we put in this little thing like that and then we pull out this little thing at the top I might take the gloves off take out number three like that and then we get in our tool and we stick it in the bottom here like this and we can just start to open up slowly open up the, the frames all the way down there we go just slowly opening up like this as we go through it and we can see the honey starting to run out now there we go so that's open we just let it run down now Whew. so these things are designed they've got little uh, oil traps on the legs here and that's to stop the ants coming up because the ants crawl up the legs and they have to go through the oil to get up so they can't get up you have to keep the grass down around it because when the grass grows up the ants will come up and they'll crawl up into your hive from the along the grass I'll just let this honey run out so the soup is a bit lighter at the top so I can lift it off that one's pretty right now so I'll take this cup and put it back on Okay, now we just got to close this off again by putting the key in the top slot and then just turning it down slowly so now we take the next one I guess okay so that's that's good now we take the next one got to put this little cover back in that we take the next cover out and put our key in and we just slowly pry them apart this is number four frame just put in a little bit at a time because it's quite hard to open this pretty sticky okay here comes the honey little bees on the end there i'm going to take him off because he's going to fall in the honey and get trapped in there in a second there we go so now we close this off Okay, and now the last one. <clears throat> ow! Ow! We're getting a bit angry now. Might put the gloves on. Okay, I don't want to get stung anymore. So we'll do the last, the last frame. I might take this little thing out here, the little cover, and then we stick our tool in and we just slowly pry it apart. I think I'll take out that. Okay, this should be the last one. Here it comes. We close these off at the top and it's really good to just leave it in place for a little while just make sure it's down take away this boom put in the cover back on it's good okay like that we go let me just put the cover back on here all good 
finished harvesting. Like that, that's so then. Okay, the next thing to do is to take the super off. So I just want to just pry this apart. Should be able to just take this off now. Okay, that's it. All right. No, oh, they're pretty angry now. Okay, so now I'm going to take away some of these frames. It's going to give them a bit of smoke to tell them I'm here and to move them a little bit away so they don't get squashed. Basically, I'm just going to lift this up now and um, I just want to check everything's okay, see if there's eggs in there, larvae. Okay. Ooh. There's some larvae in there. There's plenty of larvae, which is good. See, there's more larvae there. Just laying there in a little pool of royal jelly. I haven't seen the queen yet. I would like to see the queen. And there's some eggs there. Tiny, they look like little tiny grains of rice. So if you see some eggs, there's usually a queen around. If you don't find the queen. Trying to find the queen. Ah, there's the queen. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her go. She can lay about 2,000 eggs a day and she looks like she's looking for a place to lay her eggs right now. They're getting a bit angry now, so I'm going to put this back. Okay. So there's also this little oil tray which collects the hive beetles. See what happens is the hive beetles come in to the hive but the bees push them out and they fall down and fall in the oil and then they can't get out and then die. Look at these bees go. A hive like this is capable of pollinating 50 million flowers a day. Pollination is absolutely essential to sustain life here in the weedy garden and everywhere else on earth. This is how plants make babies and bees are a huge help. Without pollination you won't get wonderful, colourful, natural, clean organic food. The honey is just a sweet reward.
So I was here this morning and I was just walking around to get some eggs and uh, one bee came over and started buzzing around me and going, ah, oh, and it obviously smelled, that's weedy. And so it stung me and it stung me on the eye. So look, see my eye? It's already, it's gone down a bit, but it's a bit puffy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Have a nice day and I'll catch you later.